So I've made quite a few videos explaining UPC and FNSKU barcode labels for Amazon. Many of them are actually number one videos on YouTube on this topic and I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about how to download, edit, and send the FNSKU barcode labels to your supplier or package designer. And I've realized that I actually haven't covered any of that in my videos. So in this video, I'll show you how you can download the FNSKU a quick and easy and free way to edit the labels to add text or something like the country of origin and how to send it to your supplier because there's actually a lot that you can do that will save you some time and money. But first, my name is Crescent and on my channel I share tips and strategy videos just like this one and how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so if you're new to Amazon and if you're selling private label products, every one of your units needs to have an Amazon FNSKU label on it. The FNSKU label looks like this. It has a barcode, the title of your product, and the condition. Now, the FNSKU barcode isn't the same as the UPC barcode. If you're confused or would like to learn more about this, I have a video on this here, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I also have a flowchart that I put together that you can see here that you can follow that shows you exactly what barcode and how many of them that you need when you start a new product. For example, if you're doing FBA, private label, and if it's a bundle or not, and if you don't have a GTIN exemption, you need one UPC barcode and the FN SKU is required on each unit. I'll leave a link to this flowchart in the description as well. All right, so in order to download the FNSKU barcode, you first need to have created a listing. So if you haven't done that already, you'll need to do it first, enter a UPC barcode, and then you can get your FNSKU. So if you want more information about how to create a listing, I'll leave a link in the video description below. So there's two ways you can actually download the FNSKU. The first is in Seller Central. So if you go to the Manage Inventory page and click on the Edit button arrow here, you can see an option that says print item labels. Now, if you don't see this option, then there's one of two things that happened. First, you didn't create your listing with the Amazon FBA option, meaning Amazon's gonna fulfill your orders for you. Or for whatever reason, as you saved your listing, Amazon switched it from fulfilled by Amazon to fulfilled by merchant. And if that's the case, which happens more frequently than you think, then what you'll see is in the edit button window, you won't see the print item label option, and you'll see this, change to fulfill by Amazon. So if that's the case, make sure you click on this option to change it to fulfill by Amazon. And once you've done that, once you click the edit button, you'll then see the print item labels option. All right, so once you click on the print item labels, you'll see here there's a sticker type, and here's where you can choose the size or what the label looks like. Okay, and you can see here it's a 63.5 millimeter by 38.1 millimeter, and it varies as you go down the list. And what you can do is you can download each one to find one that you like, and you can always edit it as well to change the size. Okay, so let's just click the first one here and then click on print item labels. You'll get a warning saying that you have to cover any other barcodes that are on your package, okay? The only barcode that can appear on your package is the FN SKU barcode. So if there is anything else, you need to cover it up. All right, click on OK. And if we save it and open it up, you can see that that first option, the 63.5 millimeter one, looks like this. All right, there's the barcode, there's the FN SKU, and the product title, and the condition is new. Okay, so if we go back to Seller Central, and just as an example, if we were to choose um, this 27 up one, that's 63 by 29 millimeters, click on Print Item Labels, Okay, and save it. And we open this one up. You'll notice that it looks different, right? It's a little narrower now. So the first one looks like this, second one looks like this. So you can choose one that you like or fits your packaging the best, all right? So the second way you can download the FNSKU label is in your shipping queue. So if we go back to your inventory page and click on shipping queue, while you're creating a shipping plan, you get the option of printing the item labels at that time, okay? 
or if you've already created a shipping plan that hasn't been completed already, you can download it again. So for example, if we click on work on shipment here, a shipping plan that I haven't completed yet, and then click on review and modify units, you can see that there's an option here that says print item labels with the same options here. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that you can have Amazon put the item label on for you. So once you ship your products in and it's received by Amazon, they have a labeling service, but they'll charge you 20 cents per unit, as you can see here, the FBA label service, and you'll be charged 20 cents per unit to do that, okay? So what I recommend is actually contacting your supplier, negotiating with them to see how much they'll charge you to put the label on. Sometimes they'll actually do it for free, if not less than what Amazon would charge you, okay? Especially if you're doing a custom package design, you can integrate that directly into your package design so it's not an extra label or sticker that's going on the package. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to do custom package design, I do have a video on that here. Okay, so once you've downloaded the F and SKU label, you can edit it to change the size or add any additional text on there. For example, the country of origin, such as made in China, or if you wanna put the suffocation warning on there as well. Now, the idea here is so you can save some money. For example, instead of having separate labels for the F and SKU, the suffocation warning, and the country of origin, you can combine them all into one label and send it to your supplier, and that way you can save some costs. Okay, so the easiest way is to use a free online editor, and this one's called pixlr.com. Now before we can edit the FNSKU label that we downloaded from Amazon, pixlr.com only opens photo formats. So for example, if we take a look at the file that we downloaded from Amazon, it's a PDF, and pixlr.com doesn't open PDF files. So the easiest way to convert this to a file format that Pixlr can open, such as a JPEG, is to just take a screenshot. So if you're on a Mac, you gotta hold down the command key, shift and four, the number four, and then you can drag a window around the FNSKU label. What I recommend is actually making the box a little bit bigger so you have some room to add the additional text that you want. And then when you let go of the mouse, it saves that as a screenshot on your desktop. Now, if we go back to pixlr.com and click on open image and we browse to the screenshot of the FNSKU label and open it, you can see that it's opened up in pixlr.com, okay? Now in this case, for example, I wanna add the country of origin or the made in China to this label. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like, if we do a Google search, you can see that the country of origin appears on products all over the retail marketplace. So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with seeing this on products that you've bought in retail stores. So you can see here, for example, in a clothing, it says made in China. There's labels that you've probably seen on other products. Um, on product packaging here, this one says designed in USA. Um, even on printed boards, like computer parts. Um, even on the iPad, you can see it says here assembled in China. And even the iPhone. Uh, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, okay? So this needs to appear on every one of your units. So just an example to show you, you can see here on Google, for example, this product here, you can see that they incorporated the made in China into one label with the FN SKU, okay? So if we go back to Pixlr, we're gonna do the same thing. So that's actually pretty easy. What you wanna do here is click on the T for text and add new text, we're gonna say, made in China. And then let's drag this up here. Let's change the color to black so we can see it. And make sure you choose a font that um, isn't like that font there. So we'll choose Arial. And that looks a little bit big. So let's make the size a little bit smaller. And let's make sure we center this on the barcode so it looks nice. Okay, so this kind of matches the FN SKU uh, number here and it's centered. Okay, and let's delete that there. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so what you can do now is if you wanna crop it, you can choose the crop option here and now resize this label so that it fits correctly like this and save it. Okay, so if we do that and click save, now you can download this and send it directly to your supplier. Okay, but one thing I wanna show you too, 
So let's just say I want to add the suffocation warning to this. Well, that's pretty easy too. So let's just say I want to add this to the bottom. So I need to make more room here. So what I want to do is click on this arrange option here and I want to increase the canvas size. And what I want to do is I want it to stretch downward. So I want to anchor it from the top and let's just double this size. So right now it's 670 pixels. Let's make it 1200 pixels to give us some room and click on apply. Okay. And I can zoom this to fit the screen actually so I can see it better. Okay, so now I have some more room here to add the suffocation warning. So what I wanna do, for example, let's look at a suffocation warning. So if we Google it, you can see a suffocation warning looks like this, right? They have these, uh, the warning icon with a bold warning and then the text underneath it. And this applies to anything with a bag that has a five inch opening or more. So if we go to Amazon and take a look at their packaging and prep requirements, and if we scroll down, you can see for poly bags, you can see here that it says poly bags with a five inch opening or larger must have a suffocation warning. All right, this can either be printed directly on the bag or put on the bag with a sticker. So you can actually buy these made in China and suffocation warnings and put them on instead of making them yourself and send them to your supplier. So for example, if we actually look on Amazon for suffocation warning labels, you can see that there's a whole bunch here you can just buy on a roll. Okay, so for example, if you're doing this at home and then if we look for the made in China label, you can see there's whole different options for you as well. Okay, now if we go back to Pixlr, now we've made the canvas size bigger. We can come here and let's add that warning icon. So what you can do is actually go to Google and let's search for a warning icon that we like. Let's say, I like this one here. And so what I'll do is I'll save this. Okay, now if we go back to Pixlr, I can click on the photo button here. I'm gonna to browse to the image I downloaded. And you can see it placed it here. I can grab these anchor points and resize it to the size that I want and place it where I want it. Let's say right here, I'm gonna line it up to the left. I'm pretty OCD here. Okay, now I can add text. So this time I'm gonna say, warning in all caps with an exclamation mark. And again, we'll change the color to black and we'll make sure the font is something a lot nicer than that. And let's put it right here. And that looks like it's a little small. So we'll make the size bigger. Okay, and because I'm OCD, I'm gonna line this up on the right. And then now I'm going to, and then I'll click on text again. And this time I'm gonna add the uh, warning itself. So if we take a look at what it actually says, it says, keep away from small children. Okay, so if we come back here to Pixlr, we'll type in keep away from small Children, I'm not gonna type it all in. I think you get the point. Make sure the font is something nicer. Like Arial there, we'll change the color so we can see it. And then we'll resize this now. And I wanna align this to the left. And we'll bring this down here and line it up here. And might be a little bit too big still. Okay, something like that. And then now there's still room for the additional text if you're going to type that all in and now I'm going to crop it now so it looks nicer so let's do this it's around this size here and then click on save all right so it's as simple as that so now I can download this and I'll save this as fn skew okay if I open it up you can see that's what the label looks like Perfect, right? Okay, so now what you can do is print it out yourself or what's more than likely is you're gonna send this, email it to your supplier and they're gonna create a sticker out of it and put it on every single one of your units. Now, one thing you wanna be sure to do is that if you have variations, each variation is gonna have its own FNSQ label. So you have to do this one time for each variation. So one thing I wanna point out is that make sure you read this use Amazon barcode to track inventory page on Amazon as it describes a lot of conditions that needed to be aware of that has to do with 
the barcodes and labeling, okay? So if you scroll down, you can see that it says here, any item that requires an Amazon barcode that arrives at a fulfillment center without one will be subject to an unplanned prep service fee. It also says here that if you fail to comply with the preparation requirements, safety requirements, and product restrictions may result in the refusal of inventory at the fulfillment center, disposal or return of the inventory, blocking of future shipments to the fulfillment center, or charging of preparation for non-compliance. Okay, so make sure you read this page. Now, the section I want to point out here is actually the Amazon barcode requirements and the label placement requirements. So make sure when you're creating your own FNSQ label or editing it or modifying it in any way that you follow these guidelines here, okay? There needs to be sufficient white space around the barcode and it recommends a quarter of an inch on the sides to an eighth of an inch on the top and bottom. The ASIN or FNSQ needs to be on there, obviously, the product name and the item condition, okay? And then also says here that you need to put the barcode on each item and you need to cover all other barcodes if there is any. And the barcode needs to be on the outermost packaging so that it can be scanned by somebody, okay? And don't put it in the corner and allow a quarter inch between the edge of the package and the label itself, okay? So make sure you follow these guidelines. All right, and it's as easy as that. Now, for whatever reason, you don't think you can do this yourself or you don't want to do it yourself, you can always hire a freelancer to do this for you on websites such as fiverr.com, freelancer.com, or Upwork. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, post in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about barcodes, check out these videos here. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And as always, thanks for watching.